All right, Boxing Day Hatha Yoga. Here we go. <laughs> nice. <Come on. laughs> I looked it up because uh, I actually didn't know officially what Boxing Day was. And there's a couple of uh, etymologies, but it seems that, that um, came from the UK and that it was a historical tradition of giving gifts to folks who don't uh, or aren't able to get gifts, like folks who, um, you know, live in poverty. Um, there's also a history of giving giving gifts to the people who give gifts, meaning the post office, and that the post, the people, postal workers would actually get gifts on Boxing Day. So deep thanks on this wild and crazy year for the post office. <laughs> okay, so uh, come on up to stand at the top of your practice space. And I'll stand facing you for now. Bring your hands together in front of your heart and your feet can be together or hip socket distance apart. <clears throat> and let's take three good deep breaths in through your nose, out through your nose or your mouth. And again, in through your nose and out through nose or mouth. One more. Excellent. Let's add the arms, just a simple warm up here. So breathe in, reach your arms out or up. Exhale, hands together and down. Two more, inhale, reach up. Maybe heart and nose lift. Exhale, hands together and down. And one more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands together and down. Just gonna adjust my camera a little bit. And then let's go through some nice, slow sun salutations. So standing at the top of your practice space, weight in your heels, thighs back, hands together, inhale. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. So feel free to bend your knees. Um, I'm feeling a little extra stiff today. I started trail running again, which has been great, but definitely notice that I feel stiffer in my yoga practice. On an inhale, lift up halfway. So I'm staying in chair because it feels better for me for now. And then on an exhale, make your way down toward the floor, plant your hands, step your feet back, feel free to lower your knees or keep them lifted, plank variations. Inhale. And exhale, bend your elbows and lower down. <laughs> Uncurl your toes, bring your hands to bring your chest, forehead on the floor. Draw your shoulder blades toward each other on your back and breathing in, lift your heart and lift your head, cobra pose. On an exhalation, lower down. Let's do that two more times, waving in to cobra. So inhale, lift. And exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. And then tuck your toes and press up to your hands and knees. And then come back to pranam. So with your toes curled under, walk your hands, or, or sorry, with your toes curled under, bring your hips back towards your heels, arms long. Forehead down toward the floor. Take a breath here. And then lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Let's take three long, slow breaths in downward facing dog. Feel free to move inside the shape. And then when you're ready, walk or hop your feet in the direction of your hands. 
Feel free to bend your knees a lot and fold forward. If you're like me and you don't quite feel ready for a deep forward bend, you can bring your hands to your shins or your elbows to your knees. And then pressing through your feet, inhale, stand up, arms up, and exhale, arms down. Okay, so one nice slow salutation. Let's do a couple more. So breathing in, reach your arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward any kind, chair pose, hands to thighs or shins or toward the floor. Take an extra breath here. <sighs> Inhaling, stretch your heart forward, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, plant your hands and walk back plank or knees down plank. Take a breath here. Exhale, lower down. On an inhale, lift up cobra pose. Squeeze your shoulder blades toward each other on the back. Keep breathing. Stay an extra breath or two. If you want, this can look like more of an upward facing dog. And on an exhale, come back downward facing dog. Three deep breaths. Long, slow, even inhale and exhale through the nose best you can. And then a walk or hop forward. Inhaling, lift halfway. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Wiggle if you wanna. And then we'll do one more. <clears throat> just um, this time we'll try for just a fluid salutation. So moving on each half breath and feel free to hold anywhere longer. Always your prerogative. Excuse me, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, walk back. Deep breath. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Let's add in pranam. So tuck your toes, exhale, hips back, arms straight. Inhale, hips up, downward facing dog. And exhale, lower your heels. Three deep breaths. Maybe this time you lift your leg, bend and lengthen your leg. Lower and lift your other leg. And then step or hop forward. Breathing in, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up. Exhale, arms down. And again, feel free to wiggle. And readjust. And then let's play with B salutation. So we'll add in chair and warrior one. And bend your knees. Reach your fingertips down toward the floor, or you can bring your elbows to your knees. And then hands to your heart breathing, or inhale your arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, walk back. Maybe same exhale, you lower down or take another breath. Inhale, lift cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath. 
And then lift your right leg up, breathe in. Lunge your right foot forward. Turn your back heel down. And on an inhale, come up, warrior one. Lift your arms up and overhead, look up. Stay and breathe. One more full breath in, try and reach up a little bit more. And then exhale, hands down, keep breathing. Step back to plank pose or knees down plank. Deep breath. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take an extra breath here. Feel free to move, shift inside the shapes. And then lift your left leg up. On an exhale, step your left foot forward. Turn your right heel down. And then inhaling, rise up. Warrior one on the left side. Hold and breathe. Try and press down through your back heel. Lift up out of your hips. Soft face, soft eyes. Inhale. And then exhale, hands down, step back. Plank or knees down, plank and lower down. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog. Pranam, exhale, hips back, arms straight. Spend an extra breath here in pranam, and you might even just kind of wiggle inside of the shape. Extra few breaths. And then lift your hips up, lower your heels any amount. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths. Step or hop forward. Finding your forward bend, take a breath. Notice if you feel any change in sensation in your forward bend or maybe just a little bit more ease. Bend your knees, sit your hips back, chair pose. Come up, hands to heart or arms up and overhead, take a breath. Stand up, inhale. Exhale, arms down. Turn a wiggle if you want. So we are, we're following a little bit of a recipe this morning. We're borrowing from um, the Ashtanga yoga sequence, but we'll veer a little bit here. And let's do wide-legged standing forward bend. So step your feet wide. Hands at your hips, take a breath. And just arrive here. And then inhale, lengthen, maybe lift your heart and look up. Exhale, chin and navel and ribs and fold forward. Feel free to bend your knees and bring your hands down toward the floor. You might prefer hands under your shoulders or you could walk your hands forward and practice a wide-legged downward facing dog like shape. Take two more full cycles of breath here. Feel free to shift inside the shape as you feel and sense your way into your body. And when you're ready to come out, walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Feel free to bend your knees, turn your toes out slightly, and then walk your hands up to your thighs. 
and then make your way all the way up to stand. If you're lightheaded, tuck your chin and then take some steps and bring your feet underneath you. Pause, take a breath. And then step your feet wide again. Let's do triangle pose. So right toes turn out, left toes turn in. You can let your hips turn slightly forward. And then maybe a little bit of a bend in the right knee as you reach your right hand down to your shin or your ankle or your foot, whatever works for you this morning. So I still have a bend in my right knee, exploring lengthen in the right, lengthening in the right leg, left arm reaching up. So let's hold about five deep breaths here. Feel free to explore inside the shape. You could stretch your left arm over your head. You could look down and wrap your top arm around behind you, maybe some neck stretching. So two more full cycles of breath. And when you're ready to come out, include a bend in your right knee, press down through your feet, try and lift your belly and your crotch muscles up, and then inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down and change sides. So right toes out, left toes in slightly. You can turn your hips, take your hips with you. Triangle, especially when we're reaching far down, is like a forward bend and a twist. So you can bend your front knee, breathing long and slow. Slide your left hand down towards your leg or your ankle. Again, you can bend and lengthen your left leg, just exploring your range this morning, this side. And then right arm lifting up. And feel free to adapt to shift inside the shape of your right arm stretching overhead. Or you could flip your top hand palm facing back, bend your elbow, look down. When you're ready to come out, lift your right arm up, bend your front knee, push down through your feet. Lift your belly and crotch muscles up, and then inhale and come up. Keep breathing. Turn your toes. If you need a little break from the wide-footed stance, you can come back to the middle. Pause. Take a breath. All right, so next one is uh, one-legged standing forward bend or flank pose, the Parshvottanasana. So again, just kind of adapting from the Ashtanga practice. Normally we would do a revolved triangle next. So we're just gonna break it down and do the wide legged forward bend or one legged forward bend. So right foot forward, turn your hips more toward your right foot. Even if you need to stand with your feet a little wider, left to right, hands at your hips, deep breath in. Exhale, chin in, navel in, bow forward. Hands can stop at your knee or your shin. Keep breathing. You could also try bringing your hands down toward the floor. Front knee can bend. I'm gonna try to let your head relax if you're coming down. And let's take a few deep breaths here. You might explore stretching your arms more forward, almost like Bikram style, separated leg stretching. Tuck your chin around your back, push into your feet. And then press down through your feet and make your way back up. You can walk your hands up your leg for support. And then turn and face the other way. So I set my feet back under me to do that. You can keep your feet wide if you want. All right, so all toes facing mostly now toward your left foot. Back toes toward your left foot. Feel free to bend your front knee. Hands come to your hips, inhale. 
Exhale, chin and navel in, bow forward any amount, hands to your thigh or your shin, or you can bring your hands down toward the floor. Just notice if you feel and sense any difference from right to left. Very common to have different sensations, different sides of the body. No two bodies the same, no two sides of the same body the same. So long, slow breath. Maybe you walk your hands more forward and tuck and round. Or you can keep your hands by your leg, your choice. Let's take two more full cycles of breath here. When you're ready to come up, press down through your feet. Keep breathing, you can walk up your leg if you want. Turn toward the side and step your feet in and under you. Pause, take a breath. Lots of toy excitement on the other side of the door. A deep breath. Okay, step your feet wide, side angle pose. Turn your right toes out and your left toes in, and this time bend your right knee. So find your warrior two stance. You can inch your way in like me. Open your arms. Deep breath. And then exhale, side angle. So you can bring your forearm to your thigh, left arm up and overhead. Or if you'd like, you can reach your hand down toward the floor. And if we're borrowing from Ashtanga yoga, you might like to try bringing your hand to the outside of your foot. That feels like a little much for me today. So I'm gonna stay with my elbow at my knee. Take one more full cycle of breath. And then press through your feet, inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down, and then change sides. Remember, you can always step your feet back under you to give yourself a moment between sides. And then step your feet wide again, left toes out this time, right toes in, hips can turn slightly. And then bend your left knee. Open your arms. So if you wanna try and soften through your shoulders, soften them down, you can even find little ballerina arms. Then bring your hands to your shoulders. Maybe a couple of shoulder rolls. Or keep your hands palms up. Elbows bent like you're carrying trays. Okay, side angle pose. Bring your forearm towards your thigh or your hand toward the ground. Right arm stretching overhead. Long, slow breath. Maybe your left hand comes down. Press through your back foot. Squeeze your glutes. <sighs> Inhaling, press through your feet, come up. And then exhale, arms down. Return your toes and step your feet under you. And wiggle if you want. So still borrowing from the functional movement concepts of the Ashtanga sequence. Now we're gonna try a revolved variation. Um, but we'll do it in a flow. We'll do revolving lunge. So come to stand at the top of your mat. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step your left foot back into a lunge. Pause. 
So right side lunging. Keep your left hand down. Maybe you're up on your fingertips. And then bring your right hand to your knee or your hip or up in the sky. So this is a good option. And you can stay here or come down. Go out, baby. I don't know where that is. I'm going to look for him. <laughs> Look up. And then hands together in front of your heart. Knee forward. And you can twist. Other option is to put your elbow on your knee and twist. So you could be here with your left hand on the floor and your right arm up. Or your hands together. One more full cycle of breath into your back. And then unwind. And let's do a um, let's do a transition through wide-legged forward bend. So turn to your left, take a breath, and then turn to your left again. Find your left side lunge. Breathe. And then right hand can stay down. Left hand to your knee or your hip. Keep breathing. Or you can reach your arm up. So this is a good place to stay. Or you can come down and then make your way up into your lunge, hands together in front of your heart. And then twist toward the left and bring your elbow towards your knee. So your choice, hand down or right elbow to your knee. When you're ready to come out, bring your hands down, step back plank or knees down plank. Take your time as you arrive, deep breath. Again, deep breath, try and hold. One more time, deep breath and hold. And then lower down. Forehead on the floor, hands frame the chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades toward each other on the back. Inhaling, lift up cobra pose or upward facing dog. Exhale, come down, tuck your toes and bring your hips back for pranam arms straight and strong breathe here feel free to move shift inside the shape and then lift up downward facing dog and breathe when you're ready Walk to the middle of your mat. Feet and hands walk toward each other. And bow forward. Inhaling, stand up, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Good, and wiggle if you wanna. So one more standing pose. Let's play with balancing and tree. So root through your left foot. Turn your right leg out so you can come up onto the ball of your foot, heel just above your ankle. Or you can bring your foot to your shin. Or you could reach for your ankle and lift your foot up onto your thigh. Ooh. Look at something that's not going to move. Arms can be out. That might feel more supportive. Or you can bring your hands together in front of your heart. Or you can lift your arms up. Elbows could stay bent. Maybe cactus arms or kind of all of this, like your arms go on a journey. Hands to heart. Arms up, elbows bent, shoulders back, lift your heart. OK, 
cactus arms, downward facing cactus arms, and then release, and you can wiggle if you want to. Okay, second side, then root through your right hip and foot, heel above your ankle, or foot to your shin, or you can put your foot on your thigh, hands together in front of your heart, arms out, your choice. Or you could do a flow, maybe we'll do a slightly different flow for the arms. Try a downward facing prayer hands, make it a little stretch for your wrists and fingers, and then flip your prayer hands forward and up. Try to push your wrists down and lift your elbows up. And then push into your fingertips, like you're holding a grapefruit. And then keep that, feet, that shape, like you're holding grapefruit, split your grapefruit in half. Take your elbows back, your shoulders back, and then press your hands out, like you're pushing the walls away from you. Then straighten your wrists, flip your hands, and then inhale, stretch up. And exhale, arms down and leg down, and you can wiggle asana if you want to. All right, stand at the top of your mat and breathing in, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, and then your choice. Exhale straight to downward facing dog, or you can move through vinyasa to downward dog from plank lower chaturanga. Inhale cobra or upward dog. Exhale downward dog. Deep breath. And when you're ready to come down, make your way to your hands and knees, sit back. If you'd like some child's pose here, you can come all the way down or you can come up to sit. Pause. And then swing your legs out in front of you. So now we're borrowing from the primary series, Ashtanga. We'll practice a few shapes from the primary series. So first one is Dandasana. So legs long, you might lean a little bit, even move the flesh of your buttocks out slightly. Hands could come back to help you find more length, or you can bring your hands to frame your hips. Knees can bend or you can try lengthening your legs. Tuck your chin, breathe here. Let's do three rounds of breath. Dandasana, staff pose. Try to keep your navel in and really lift up into your upper chest. All right, and then inhale, lift your chin. And exhale, release. So you can just get softer in your upper body. <clears throat> Marichyasana C, so revolving seated pose. So bring your right knee in towards your body. Now you can bring your right hand behind you here and your foot doesn't have to be close by. Your foot could be further out if that suits you better. Left hand towards your right knee or you could bring your forearm towards your knee or you could try bringing your elbow to the outside of your knee. That feels like too much of a stretch for me today. So I'm gonna do elbow to knee, or forearm to knee rather. Left leg stays active, toes face the ceiling. Breathe in, lift up tall, even if you need to lean back some, lift up. And then exhale, turn your heart, maybe also look back. And just do your best to breathe. You don't have to be able to take super deep breaths here or full torso breathing. Just make sure that you can still breathe. All 
When you're ready to come out, inhale, turn forward. And exhale, release, right leg long to match the left. Feel free to lean back, bump your knees, switch your feet. Okay, now bring your left leg in. So remember foot and thigh can be for far away from each other or closer in, whichever feels best. And bring your left hand behind you. Right hand or forearm or elbow to your left knee. Even if you need to lean back here, breathe in, get long through your front body. And then exhale and turn. Look side or look back. Keep breathing. On an inhale, unwind, turn and look forward. Exhaling, release, legs forward, arms back, bump your knees, swish your feet. And then let's jump ahead in the traditional sequence. We're going to take our wide-legged seated forward bend. So separate your feet. So try not to push your hips forward here like you're getting to your full range of motion but hang back a little bit so that you have some wiggle room. And if your tail curls under here or you feel rounding in your lower back, just bring your hands back behind you and lift your heart away from your belly. And this is a good place to stay. Or you could pitch forward. Hands could come forward. Scoot back here. and lean forward any amount. Maybe forearms come down. Keep breathing. Maybe elbows go out and your forehead comes down in the direction of your hands. Keep breathing. Let's try and hold about three more full cycles of breath. Maybe forehead comes down toward the floor. And hands can walk out and find the toes. When you're ready to come out, make sure that you have lots of stability. So I'm going to bring my hands back down to the ground, I'm not hanging in my hips, press into the hands and lift up, sit up tall. <laughs> Okay, bound angle pose. So bring the soles of your feet together. Any amount, try and maybe even wiggle it, wiggle your way, your heels a little closer in towards your groin. And you can hold on to your ankles or your shins or your feet, what you can hold. And use the grip you have with your hands to pull back some and really lift up through your front body. So I'm actually pulling, pulling with my hands, pushing shins into fingers and fingers into shins. Lift the chest. And then a little chin tuck here. And then breathe in, lift your head. And exhale, release. You can bring your knees in. Turn to face the short edge of your mat so you have the full length. And then with or without the support of your hands on your knees, tuck your chin and try and roll down vertebra by vertebra. And once the back of your head touches down, consciously relax the muscles of your neck. Relax your arms, eyes soft or eyes closed. Let your breath come back to an easy, effortless rhythm. And pause here. Just trust your body if you are ready to 
just rest here with some stillness or if you're like me, you just need a little bit of softening and releasing for hips and lower back. You could do some knees to one side and then the other. And then come back to the middle. So knees bent, feet on the floor. Bridge pose. So with knees bent and feet on the floor, you can keep your arms down or bend your elbows 90 degrees and press into your feet, lift your hips up and stay or pushing down into your upper arm bones from elbow to shoulder. Push into your elbow, lift your shoulder slightly and try and hug your shoulder blade in and under you more. Same thing on the other side. So you're walking your shoulder blades in and under you a little bit more. Imagine a block between your knees. Hug in a little bit more towards your midline. Long, slow breath. Two more full cycles of breath. Chest toward your chin, chin away from your chest. And then walk your shoulders back out and lower down. Pause. You can rest your hands on your breathing body if you want or relax your arms down. Right. One after the other, bring your knees in towards your body, towards your chest or shoulders, and hold on to your knees. You could rock again a little bit from side to side. And then keep your right knee and stretch your left leg long. Take a breath. And then switch left knee in and right leg long. One more time, right knee in, left leg long. And switch. And then both knees in. And hold on to both knees. You could, if it works for you, interlace your fingers or hold your wrist or you could reach in the direction of your forearms or your elbows, holding onto your legs. Breathe. And then lift your legs up toward the ceiling, so feet up. So variation of legs up the wall, Viparija Karani, active reversal. So your choice here, we're going to take a couple of minutes in this pose. So this is a great option. You can even just hold on to your legs and keep your feet up. Just reversing blood flow, good for digestion, good for restoration of the nervous system. Or you could find some real estate at the wall and scoot your buns forward toward the wall and put your legs up the wall this way and stay here or if you have a block handy you could come through bridge press into your feet lift your hips up and then slide a block underneath the top part of your sacrum and that's a great pose all by itself you can stay here or lift your legs up with your hips on the block. So your choice, once you find the shape that's sustainable, let's try holding for several long, slow breaths. Let's try, let's try eight, eight long, slow breaths. And maybe even do it in this specific 
way. So breathe in for about four counts. And breathe out five or six counts. And that could be through pursed lips or through your nose, your choice. So breathe in about four counts through your nose. Breathe out five or six counts through pursed lips or through your nose. Do about six more. Feel free to come back to an easy breath if this isn't working for you. Two more. Last one. Good. So if you have legs up the wall, one option is that you could stay there and have a nice long restorative legs up the wall practice to close your class today. Maybe if he stay or hips rather stay on a block and you stay there longer, this is good yoga, nice restorative practice. If you like, you can make your way back to your mat hips down, feet down, and then walk your feet out and find your way to a Shavasana shape. So today we'll practice Shavasana first and then come back up to sitting for a few minutes of breathing practice. So if you want something over your eyes, like a scarf or an eye pillow, you could get that now. If you'd like to cover yourself with a blanket or put on socks, you're welcome to do that now. Give yourself another minute to get a little more comfortable. And once you find a comfortable position, do your best to do nothing at all. And give yourself permission just to be. Nothing to do, nothing to change rest here.
Good. Take a deep breath. And start to move again, toes and fingers. Feet and hands. The legs moving and arms moving. Whole body moving as you slowly make your way back to a seated position. As you come up to sit, pause. Bring your hands to your heart, just fold it, and breathe into your heart space. So just literally notice the movement of the space around your heart. Deep, even inhale and exhale best you can through your nose. Right, four more. Inhale long and slow. Maybe slight pause at the top. And then exhale long and slow. A slight pause at the bottom. Three more. Two more. Try bowing your head to your heart on this last one. And as you breathe in, feel and sense your breath in the back of your heart space. Good, and then bring your hands together in front of your heart. Breathing easy. And no counting. Observe. A felt sense of your body. Thank yourself, your will for coming to practice this morning. It's an honor to practice with you. Thank you so much. Namaste.